Hello and welcome to this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ImageLine's Fruity Parametric EQ2. This is probably one of my favorite equalizers um, for a number of reasons, so let's jump right into it. Like most parametric EQs, it has a number of bands. This one has seven. You can adjust your up and down as well as your Q or your bandwidth. And then it also has a few other cool features as far as making every band something specific, whether you want it to be a normal slope, if you want it to be a high or a low shelf, different types of band pass, things like that. It also allows you to pick the severity of the slope. Right below the little um, picture up top, there's this little dot. And if you click and drag, you can change how it selects the frequencies and to what extent, which really lets you get some nice precise control. In addition to that, it has a few other cool features, such as some options as far as legacy monitoring with the um, way that it graphically picks up the frequencies that are playing, the ability to lock in spare states and use a high precision monitor, the ability to have an HQ oversampling mode, which is really nice, and you can turn off the little buttons if you prefer to just see a nice smooth line. It also has the ability to turn on and off the graphic monitoring and to compare states if you maybe get some EQ settings you like but you're not sure and you want to compare it side by side with the un-EQ'd or a different EQ setting. So what I'm going to do here for this uh, video is I've just got um, an instrument playing. I'm going to play that in the background and I'm going to use the parametric EQ to remove some harshness and to balance out some of the levels across here. Check it out. high pitch whistling that does not sound nice so now that we found it we're gonna take it out it's a lot of bass down on the bottom here so we'll use a shelf setting we're gonna change the slope a little bit so it's more drastic take out some of this low end Next I'm going to reduce all of our high frequencies and then use a nice gentle bell curve to bring in a little bit of air on the top. And lastly, there's a violin sound playing, and we, I just want to take a little bit of that out of there. So, again, just to give you the steps, we'll find a band here. We're using this yellow band. We're going to tighten up the cue, or the bandwidth, so that we're just isolating a few frequencies. I'm going to turn it up, and then I'm going to sweep through here until I find the frequency I don't like, and then I'm going to turn just that frequency down. for our EQ. And after. Thank you all for watching this episode of 5 Minute Mixing Tips. That's your crash course in the Fruity Parametric EQ2. I hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Please feel free to leave a message in the comments, click the thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if there's anything particular you would like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know.